بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم گڈ مارننگ اسٹوڈینٹس ہاؤ آر یو اوکے ٹوڈے آئی ایم ٹیچنگ یو اباؤٹ دا کریکٹرس آف دا ناول گڈ بائی مسٹر چپس واٹس دا نیم آف دا ناول گڈ بائی مسٹر چپس characters. in this novel first character who can be regarded as the hero of this novel he is mr chipping mr chipping ko pyar se mr chips kaha jata tha well mr chipping was born in 1848 theek hai 1848 mein He was born in 1848. Okay. He worked as a good teacher, rather best teacher, excellent teacher. And he taught in Mulberry School and Brookfield School. Mulberry School and Brookfield School. Brookfield کیا اسپیلنگ ہے بی آر ڈبل او کے ایف آئی ای ایل ڈی بروک فیلڈ اسکول اینڈ ملبری اسکول ویل ہی از وائٹ ہیئر اینڈ سیمی برڈ اینڈ فیئرلی ایکٹیو فار ایز ایج ویل At the age of uh, 48, he married Mrs. Catherine Bridges. Mrs. Catherine Bridges. He was 25 years old and Mrs. Chipping was 48 years old. Well, his mind is filled with memories. of his dead wife and the many boys he taught at brookfield well his mind is filled with memories of his dead wife the many boys he taught at brookfield and the many experiences he had there he can have retirement ke baad apne biwi ke bare mein sochta rehta hai apne bachche ke bare mein sochta rehta hai اور اپنے اسٹوڈینٹس کے بارے میں سوچتا رہتا ہے یو نو ہی واز ویری پاپولر ٹیچر اینڈ ردر ہی از اے لیجنڈ ایٹ دا اسکول اینڈ از ریمبرڈ ود افیکشن اسٹوڈینٹس اور اسٹاف اس کو بڑے احترام سے بڑے پیار سے یاد کرتے تھے اینڈ ہی ڈائز ڈریمنگ آف دا تھاؤزینڈس آف بوائز ہی ہیڈ ٹاٹ جب وہ مردن لگتا ہے تو اس کو اپنے سارے اسٹوڈینٹس یاد آتے اسٹوڈینٹس بھی اس کو بڑے احترام سے بڑے پیار سے یاد کرتے Okay, now we come to, now we come to Mrs. Wicket. Mrs. Wicket is another character of this novel. Um, she is the landlady of the home in which Mr. Chipping was living. And Mrs. Wicket also served in Brookfield School. 
in the linen room linen room mein wo linen room ki in charge hoti hai mrs wicket well another character is mr weatherby mr weatherby weatherby is the headmaster of brookfield when mr chips came there okay brookfield school mein iska interview conduct kiya tha mr weatherby weatherby ne interview liya aur fir usko appointment di uh babu legend of the school ban is a chips weatherby kon hai he is the headmaster of brookfield school aur ye wo headmaster jisne chips ka interview liya ye baat uske baad hai ji mr kole mr kole c o w l e y right kole kon hota hai he is a student of mr chips he is the student of mr chips और आप कह सकते हैं मिस्टर चिप स्टूडेंट पास्ट ऑफ यस का मतलब समझते हैं ना पास्ट ऑफ यस जहां लग गए उसके मतलब उसकी मिल्कियत होती है जैसे असलम का पेन असलम पेन असलम लिख के उसके बाद एस सुपर काम असलम का पेन ओके बोले एस मिस्टर चिप स्टूडेंट एंड ही वाज समवट नाटी बॉय but very intelligent okay are you listening kole a brookfield brookfield boy who mr chips disciplined on his first day at the school okay mr chips punished him and he said that we should write 100 lines because uh, kole had dropped the desk kole was a red haired boy he was sort of a red haired boy okay kole is then kole son and kole is grandson later became the pupils of mr chips baad mein kole ka beta bhi padhne aaya aur kole ka pota bhi padhne aaya aur chips became the marvelous teacher okay then another text is catherine bridges catherine bridges chips usko pyar se kathi bhi kehta tha catherine bridges chipping well she is uh, chips wife and she was 25 years old Chips was 48 years old. Um, he, is, he is very popular with the boys, with the students of Chips. Okay, they met each other in Lake District. Um, they married. Okay, Great Gable. Great Gable, a pahadi pe. मुलाकात हुई थी एंड दे मैरिड बट आई थिंक टू इयर्स आफ्टर मैरिज शी डाइज इन चाइल्ड बर्थ एलॉन्ग विद हर इनफेंट सन वेल एन अदर डॉक्टर इज डॉक्टर मैरी वेल डॉक्टर मैरी वेल spanage m e r i e a l e m e r i v a l e dr mary vale ye aapke novel ke first page pe your text mein dr mary vale well dr mary vale was mr chips physician okay then comes another chapter Mr. Collingwood. 
Mr. Colin Gould. Colin Gould is also a Brookfield boy who becomes a major. Um, he was a good student of Brookfield School. Okay, then comes Mr. Ralston. Ralston, R A L S T O N. Mr. Ralston is a young master at Brookfield, whom Mr. Chips does not like. Okay. Then comes Mr. Chatris. Mr. Chatris, C H A. Double Mr. Chatris was successor as headmaster, and he and Mr. Chips get on well. Okay, Chatris and Mr. Chips got on well. Well, Chatris is name of the Master of Brookfield School. Okay, then comes another character, Mr. Max Stiffel. Max Stiffel is a former German master at Brookfield. Okay, Max Stiffel is a German master. At Brookfield. Well, another character, another uh, last character is Mr. Lenfield. Len, sorry, Lenford. L A N F O R D. Lenford. Well, Mr. Lenford is a Brookfield boy. The last to say goodbye, Mr. Chips. The night before the old man dies, so that boy comes to see Mr. Chips. And on his departure, he says, Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Well, these are the characters of this novel. Is there any question up till now? Tomorrow, inshallah, I shall, I shall tell you the summary of this novel. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. And students, I'm requesting again and again that you are fully allowed to ask any query. You are fully allowed to ask any question. You are Be confident, be creative. Please improve your speaking skill. Please improve your writing skill. Please improve your reading skill. You are good listeners, but it's my dream that you should be good speakers and you should be good writers. Because you know that fortune lives in labor's shell. And then you listen to me, I'm not going to be a good So, Allah Ta'ala Jalla Jalalu, I'm not going to be a good speaker. The fortune lives in labor shell, and all is well that ends well. So that's why I'm requesting you to improve your writing skill, speaking skill, reading skill, and listening skill. Okay. Is there any question up till now? Love is all the best.